Hello, today is April 4th, 2015, and I figured I'd do an update on the brine shrimp hatchery and the adult brine shrimp that just uh, I found the other day. And uh, if there's any interest in it, I'll go into a lot more detail in terms of how it's how it's done and stuff. But basically what this is, is uh, a 20 gallon tank that I have filled with, you know, half or so of salt water now. That's what the adult brine shrimp are in. And um, I have a bubbler in the back. I don't use that uh, stone back there for any air because the they said the brine, adult brine shrimp can be killed by that. So I just have that disabled for now with just a, a little pipette down there uh, with the in the back with the air blowing or air bubbling. And what I use for the the hatchery itself, I just have a two liter bottle um, that I cut you know the top off of or the bottom off of technically. And I made a valve at the bottom or modified the uh, valve off of a water bottle and uh, just turned as a twist valve type of thing. And that works pretty good. And the temperature I have set at like uh, 79, I think it is. And anyways, and then I just uh, put them in there and then I, I hatch it after, raise the brine shrimp uh, till they're, I put them in about two o'clock in the afternoon and then uh, feed them to the fish at seven when I do it. And uh, so that I think is uh, what, 17 hours, if that's, that's right, if I did my math right. And then I, what I do is I take them out of, out of, the, out of that, the, out of the aquarium here, the hatchery, and then I put them in this box, which I made or modified that just uh, on a stand there, it has a hole in it so the light uh, attracts them and close it up and then take them out of there after 15 minutes and they're usually separated down to the bottom and then strain them in my little strainer here and then uh, which is over the over the tank now because that's how we got uh, I had it over the bucket before but now it's over the tank because I want to um, use the same uh, residuals foods or whatever like that was in there to kept that got the adult brine shrimp to grow before but anyways that's basically what I do here and uh, hopefully let's see if I can get a look at the brine shrimp that was the main reason I was doing this video Let's see here if I can find them. If they should show up on the thing because they're pretty big. Yeah, there's there's some. Let's see here. Let's see if we can find one good ones. Oh, there's some over here. There's a yeah. There's some right there. See, there's the there's a a couple there. If you wanted to call them attached ones. You can see them real good in the in this light versus in the bucket, and uh, there's there seem to be all of them that were there before the twenty of them or so seem to be all alive still for now, and it's been a couple of days, so I'm hoping they'll stay that way. I noticed as well they they swim upside down, at least what I figure is upside down. Their legs are kind of or whatever you call those things, tentacles are pointed upwards. And also you can see some other little dots in there too. And that's, I've added some other brine shrimp to it uh, last couple days to see how they uh, will do in the tank, see if they survive. And so far they have. And uh, I haven't been feeding them much at all, but when I do feed them, I feed them this, what for now is a, the lack I don't have anything better for it, Cyclopes, which I used to feed uh, to the fry. But I take that and put it in a cup of water and put a very small amount in there because I've heard overfeeding them is the way to um, kill them off real fast. So anyways, hope that helps and hope it'll be some fun. If there's any more interest for it, I'll, I'll continue to do it. But I thought this would be a cool thing to, to do. See you later. Have a good day and God bless.